who should and shouldn't go to the 2022 World Olympic Championship pairs. Um, I thought that Sway, um, Wang Jiang and Hong Kong should probably sit out worlds. Or more likely, I feel like they're probably getting ready to retire. This will be a great loss for pairs. However, they have been competing for 15 years and have won everything there is to win. They have also paid a heavy price with Sway having, having had to have several surgeries throughout the years. Um, so I felt like they should just uh, enjoy their Olympic medal and they should not come to the 2022 um, World Championships in France. And then when I heard the whole Russian team was banned, I thought maybe Sway and Hong should come. This could be their chance to regain their world title and they could end their career on a high. But then we found out that China was not sending a team to the 2022 um, championship. So it turns out I was right. They will not come, but for different reasons. Now, I felt like China should have sent Peng Chang and Jen Yang. Peng and Jen, oh my God, my favorites, my little babies. I feel like if Peng could have landed that side-by-side -side triple toe in the short and hang on to the jumps for the long, they could have, like, if not win the title, then definitely medal. I feel like this is a lose. This is a great loss um, for Peng and Yang. This is a great loss for them since China is not sending a team. But I definitely would have sent them. For the U.S. and pair, I would, of course, send both team. So Alessa um, Kanaram, Brandon Frazier, and Ashley Kane, Kane Gribble, and Timothy Lowe Duke. Both team have not made an announcement about their future, so we don't know if they're retiring or not. But this is a great opportunity for them to get three spots for U.S. team, which we have not had in forever. More importantly, this is a great opportunity for them to get an Olympic medal. So definitely both U.S. pair teams should go. Similarly, I would have had both Canadian pairs team go. So I would have sent Vanessa James and Eric Radford and Kristen Amor Towers and Michael Marinero. I feel like, again, with so many other people out, this would have been a great opportunity for um for Canada to maybe get a medal. They had an outside chance of a medal, but definitely a top five and six finish and maybe three spots in pairs for Canada. But unfortunately, only um Vanessa and Eric are going because um Christian and Michael are not going to participate and they are likely preparing for their retirement. So they will be replaced by Evelyn and Trent. And I feel like this is unfortunate because this was a great opportunity for Kristen and Michael that has been missed out. Now, I hope everything gets resolved so that the Spanish team um, of Laura um, Boquero and Michael Zondron could go to world. They're a very talented team and this is a great step towards their future. Unfortunately, I don't think exceptions will be made from, for them. They're not from the right country. So very likely they will not be at the 2022 Olympics. I definitely think the young Georgian team of um, Karina Safina and Luka Berilova should definitely go. I can see this time, this team, if they are judged fairly, in the top six. And if other people don't show up, they mess up, you never know. I see them as an outside chance for a medal. Of course, Japan's Riko Mura and Ryuchi Kihara have to go. I think a medal is absolutely within their reach. And... Even the world title right now is within their reach. Um, you know, um, Riku and Ryuchi have said that they wanted to stay around for 2026. And I feel like a medal at world would be a great start to their campaign. And without China and Russia, really a world title is within their reach. 
Now, for the Russian team, I felt like Yevgenia Tarasova and Vladimir Rose, Mozov should skip. This is the time that they should do shows, that they should enjoy themselves, do some interviews, and earn some money. They also had a long career, and the Olympic was their best finish to date. And they should go high on a hot high note we don't know if they can repeat their performance at the olympic at worlds and given the depth of the pairs in russia i, I don't really see um Yevgeny and vladimir acting to continue i felt like russia should have sent both the temera masvina teams that's um anastasia mishina alexandra galiemov as well as alexandra boykova and dmitry kosklavsky I'm sure both of these young team were disappointed. Um, Mishan and Galiemov with not winning the gold. And then Boy, um, Boykova and Kovklaski with not winning a medal at all. They could both easily win the title or win a medal at this 2022 Worlds. So Russia should definitely send them. And replacing Tarasova and Morozov, I had Daria um, Pavlochenko and Denis Kudakin. Very inventive, very original team. I feel like they can definitely use more international experience going forward. Unfortunately, this was what I wanted to see happen. But as we know, the war happened, Russia was banned, so none of these teams will be participating. But this was whom I thought should go and who I thought should stay with the 2022 um, World Figure Skating Championship in pairs. You let me know who do you think would definitely benefit from this and who it would likely benefit if they just set it out. Leave me a comment.